Hello, it's Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am a professional ballroom dancer. And I'm here today to share with you some of the um, inside info on what goes on behind the scenes in the ballroom dance world from um, an experienced perspective. So let's get started. Um, when I was moving up through the competition ranks as an amateur, um, something that weighed really heavily on my heart is, is my teacher holding me back? Um, and in some cases they were, in some cases they weren't. So I'm gonna share with you today some warning signs so you know when your teacher is possibly holding you back from being the best dancer you can be, okay? Um, so this dan this question not only applies to competitive dancers, but social dancers as well. Everyone kind of wants to be the best they can be. Um, that being said, if you're feeling joy in your lessons, that's the most important is that you want to continue to, dan to dance, okay? Um, so my first warning sign for you. Um, does your teacher discourage you from competing with an amateur partner, meaning amateur, amateur? Are they shoving you only towards pro-am? That means where you partner with your teacher and pay them to dance with them. The reason this is a warning sign, it twofold. Number one, they make exponentially more money off of those pro-am students, okay? Than they do those amateur couples. Number two, very important. I only know of one singular professional dancer that came from the pro-am world that successfully turned pro and became a truly elite level professional. Only one time. Everyone else I know, everyone came from amateur, amateur partnerships. So that really is, in my opinion, in my experience, um, the path, if you really want to become um, truly an elite level championship, world level dancer, find an amateur partner and pursue that route, okay? Um, so, um, and I actually, I do know of one pro I'm dancer who tried turning pro and after a year of failure, both in the professional competition divisions, as well as a year of failing teaching and not building clientele, she gave up, you know, now she does office work or something, but complete waste of her resources, okay? Um, so, Something to bear in mind, you are never going to be as good, as knowledgeable, probably as skilled as the pro that you take from, realistically, okay? Now, obviously, if you're um, an elite level championship world ranked dancer, that is possible, but even those people are taking coaching from other people, okay? Um, so, if you um, see that your pro um, can't dance <laughs> well, and even if they're not competing now, which most of them are retired, okay? Um, but you're still going to be able to see them dance at showcases. You'll be able to see um, them dance with their students in those showcases. You'll be able to see them dance socially. Do they look better than everyone else in the room? Are there other pros in town that look better? If so, that's probably a warning sign to you that might, they might be holding you back a little bit, okay? Because even as a pro, if I'm... I'm uh, an accomplished dancer, a trained dancer, even if I'm dancing with kind of a not so good social dancer, I'm still gonna look pretty darn good and I'm gonna make that student look their best, even if they're not actually my student, okay? If your teacher looks sloppy with everyone, mm, you might consider finding someone else. Hopefully there's a better option for you in town. You know, when I was an amateur, um, even as a pro, there were no options for me in the state. I, I flew to New York um, for all of my coaching with my primary coaches. And then I flew to England to take with their coaches, okay? So um, hopefully a better option for you in town. If not, you'll have to settle for the best you can get and see that person more as a trusted person who is going to supervise your practices, so to speak, rather than actually teach you um, to increase your dancing. Although a trusted local pro, even if you just trust their advice and they're going to stop you from fighting in your practices and you can make progress, that's still a valuable pro for you. Okay. Um, another kind of warning sign is if you, if you're a social dancer, you probably just take group classes, you might take privates, but if you see that your group dance teacher is never linking these lessons back, 
so that you can successfully go to a dance and dance what you learned, okay? This is a warning sign. Um, I'll give you an example. I hired someone out of a chain studio and they made a deliberate point in all of their group classes of never linking the routine back to the beginning. And he said to me, well, this is how that chain studio wrote me into taking more group classes. This is I always had to come back because I could never figure out how to loop my dancing back to the beginning of my routine. The whole point of taking dance lessons, whether it's a group or private, is that you're going to be able to dance well on your own. Okay, so um, this is a, a marketing ploy for incompetent teachers to rope you into coming back and spending more money in them. Okay, same thing with your privates. Um, your ultimate goal for that teacher, if they're a decent teacher, is to have you be able to dance well on your own without having to pay them for every second of your dance time. Now, if you enjoy dancing with them only, great, go for it. But most people would um, benefit from being able to dance with many people, not just that one person. What happens if the die in a fire car crash? You should hopefully be able to hold your own. Also, for me as a competent teacher, my students going out and dancing well without me is my best marketing tool, okay? I don't need to be there working, so to speak, a social dance for people to see that I'm a good teacher because they see my students be really good dancers. They can feel that my students are good dancers, okay? Um, next up, um, if that pro requires you to take a certain number of lessons, this is a warning sign. If you are a competitor, especially, you're no dummy. You know that how many lessons you should be taking to turn pro or to be at least become an elite level amateur dancer. Um, if someone is shoving that down your throat and asking you to spend more money than you have, this is a warning sign for greed, okay? Um, they shouldn't be selling you on big packages. They should not be forcing you to take more lessons. I have another studio experience um, from another studio in town. Um, personal experience. There was a pro that started a performance team and there were many performance teams in town. And she was the most accomplished pro in town at that time. She made everyone who joined her team promise that they would take two privates a week, blah, 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 blah. And that, um, she, although she didn't state explicitly, we will win this, she inferred, hey, we're going to win if you spend all this money with me. Then when it came time to debut these, this um, performance piece, they had their butt kicked in competition. They placed last out of like five teams. It was embarrassing. And all these people had wasted their resources on taking these promised, um, you know, you must take these private lessons and you will get these results. No one can guarantee your results. No one. I don't care if you're taking with the current world champions. There is too many variables in competition for anyone to guarantee your results. This is a warning sign. There um, should be no reason for them to sell you a package or to hard sell you pri more private lessons with them. You should want to do that on your own, okay? At your own pace, at your own budget, okay? Um, so um, I am... Pushing that 10 minute mark, I'm gonna have more to comment on this. I'll share that in another video, but um, there are many variables that are warning signs to you that your pro is holding you back. So good luck to you in identifying that. I, my heart goes out to you if you find yourself in that position, um, but there's always more pros you can take from. Or in my case, if I didn't find a, a good enough pro in my area, hey, I flew across the country to see him every month. And that is an option for you if it's within your budget. And honestly, you're not going to become a elite level dancer unless you have a lot of money anyway. You've got to take from the best coaches. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm not monetizing so definitely if you enjoyed that content that was interesting or helpful please give me a thumbs up I love seeing that please subscribe to my channel YouTube does send me a little email notification every time someone subscribes and I get so excited so hey make my day give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I look forward to seeing you tomorrow I hope that was interesting bye guys